This video will show you how to sign into Zoom properly and to make sure that you have access to all the functions and features a Stony Brook license has to offer. So the first thing you want to do is go to stonybrook.zoom.us and then click on sign in. Sign in with your NetID and NetID password. And then you can see in profile my department, my title, so I definitely know that I'm logged into a Stony Brook account. Plus if I click on my little picture here, you can see that I'm using a licensed account. Next, go to settings and scroll all the way down to about the middle of the page under screen sharing, right here. So by default, the option that's selected is only the host can share. This is great for instructors who are working with students and teaching students, but for colleagues and when you're collaborating with other people, you'll want to select all participants can share. So that way when you're in a meeting with somebody, you don't have to allow them to be co-hosts so they can share their screen. They'll be able to share their screen right away. So we're done here. Let's go to the calendar and make sure I'm logged in correctly here. So the first thing I want to do is create a meeting. And if I click on more options and then go to video conferencing Zoom, it says I'm not logged in. So I can log in here and then authorize my calendar. And then now I'll be able to make Zoom meetings from my calendar. You can tell that you're logged into a Stony Brook account because if you're logged into a trial account, you won't see the phone number. I can also tell I'm logged into a Stony Brook account if I go to the add-on. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to open up this panel and then I can see a few icons. But if I click on Zoom for G Suite, I can see that I'm logged in with my Stony Brook account. It says stonybrook.zoom.us. This is what you want to see. If you see your Stony Brook email and it doesn't say stonybrook.zoom.us, then you're not logged into a Stony Brook licensed account. You're logged into a trial account. And you'll want to fix that by going back to Zoom here and signing in correctly, like I showed you at the beginning of the video. Next, Make sure you have the Zoom app installed. So I'm going to go to my Windows Start menu and you can go to Finder in Mac and look for my Zoom app. If you don't have the Zoom app, you can go to the Zoom Download Center. and download the client for meetings yourself if you have admin rights to your computer. Otherwise, contact support so they can do that for you. So let me go back to that Zoom app and I'll show you how to log into that. So click on sign in. Don't enter your email address and don't sign in with Google. You want to sign in with SSO because that will prompt you to log in with your NetID and NetID password. The company domain is Stony Brook one word. Just like before when we went to the web settings, we went to stonybrook.zoom.us. So click on continue. And then if it prompts you to log in with your NetID, do so. And then now you're in the client. It's important to have the client running in the background on your computer because it adds an extra level of security and certain features will only work if you are signed into the client. Here in the client, I can start a new meeting right away. Um, I can schedule a meeting and have it go on my Google Calendar. I could also chat with other people. and then meet with them right away. And that's it.